Hey guys, Sue Lord here, back again with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Origins fan channel exclusive Skeleton Warriors 2 pack. Of course, brought to us by the fine folks over at, say it with me now, Metalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
But I'm bringing the other guy back in. These guys have all been champs, the uh, ones with the silver accents and whatnot. Uh, that said, if you get these, I recommend doing a head swap and giving this guy the gold helmet and this guy the silver one because it matches the rest of his armor. And uh, he looks pretty spiffy, if I do say so myself. He's got silver bracers, silver... I think these are chains or whatever that is. Silver horns now, and then he's got a silver skirt piece. This guy is a lot more uh, like Skeletor as far as the colors go. Uh, that said, much like the King Hiss, these guys have a skinnier torso because they have a rib cage under there. And uh, I don't know if you can use this armor on a bigger figure. Uh, you might be able to, but I kind of wouldn't count on it. Uh, that said, I think you can swap the arms and stuff with other characters. I don't think that's any different. But as far as articulation goes, they got the double ball pig in the head. But because they got the helmet and the spinal cord, it is kind of hindered. So that kind of sucks, but oh well. It does tilt side to side and look side to side. The arms go out to the side. Back down. They rotate a full 360 with the shoulders in the equation there. It's going to have to move. Or flex out of your way. Does have a single joint at the elbow with rotation. It's got a swivel in the wrist with a hinge. And I will say if you want to use that shield, I would heat up the hands. Just in case. You know I have to all the time. Sometimes they're a little bit more open. You don't have to do that. But I would advise you do that. I think it's a, it's a safe bet. Uh, they do have waist twist. And like Dragon Blaster Skeletor, they are kind of squeaky. Uh, he does have... In and out at the hips, so you can kick them out that far, kick them down, kick them forward and back. He's got a rotation in the knee, single joint at the knee with a rotation at the boot, and then he's got a hinge in the foot with a rocker joint there, and peg holes at the bottom of the feet. You want to hook them up with a stand. So that's it for the Skeleton Warriors in a nutshell, really, uh, other than the fact that they freaking glow in the dark. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Standing them both up there. I will say they are a little tricky to stand. I don't know why. I'm used to standing figures with Skeletor boots by now. That's like half the freaking evil warriors. But, uh, yeah, man, these guys are basically like Scareglow's minions, and they glow in the dark. And they are 100% unique tooling, not to one another, but to the rest of the line. Uh, other than the boots and the weapons. Uh, and I think the crotches are the same. Underneath the belts they have. Unless that's the uh, Snake Armor He-Man belt. Is that what that is? I'm unsure on that one. But uh, that said, this two-pack retails for $35 after tax, if I'm not mistaken. And Lady Slither, who we looked at earlier today, was almost 50 bucks. She did not have a 100% unique mold, unless you use the snake tail, which was hollow and kind of cheap. And while this two-pack does have its issues, particularly with quality control, I think everything else is fine. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know where Mattel's getting their prices from. It's kind of scatterbrains, if you ask me. But with all that being said, let's now move right along and take a look at some size comparisons. First up, here are our Skeleton Warriors, alongside the Lord of Destruction, Skeletor <laughs> himself. This is actually the Skeletor from the Screech 2-pack, which we will be taking a look at tomorrow, most likely. As well as Scareglow, the original skeleton from Masters of the Universe. And I gotta tell you, while I do love me some Scareglow. He is my favorite Motu character after all. I gotta tell you, the one thing that does let me down about him is that the bones are just painted on. But these new skeleton guys, it's all sculpted, but at the same time, they are kind of short, aren't they? They are, uh, yeah, they look like a half head shorter than the standard Motu figure, so that's kind of interesting. But at the same time, these are meant to be probably the skeletons of, well, you gotta think that they fit inside these Motu bodies, so maybe that's why they're all smaller. And I mean in height, not in width, because, yeah, no dip, Sherlock. They're, of course, going to be a little thinner than 
someone with six-pack abs and biceps and triceps and traps and, you know, this thing called flesh and blood. That said, uh, I don't know if Scareglow has that necessarily, but uh, looks like he does. Bringing in the infamous Brother Mandibulith. And okay. and spawn because this wouldn't be an Overlord Productions video without them. Uh, there you go. And of course, since they're not 5.5 inch scale, they're out of frame. So with all that being said, I'm going to move right along and wrap things up. Some final thoughts. Overall, and aside from the somewhat questionable, we'll say, quality control issues I've had, with these figures i gotta tell you for the price point despite those issues i still think this is a great two pack this is an awesome set i really like these these are in my eyes contenders for figures of the year because you get a lot for less than 40 bucks i mean two basic origins cost 40 bucks now and that's before tax these guys cost 35 afterwards and you get two completely 100 percent new to the line body molds i mean granted you get the same one twice but it's new to the line regardless uh you get new heads new chest armor possibly new belts i'm not sure on that one new arms new legs new torso the only thing reused here i think are the boots and maybe those are not reused either because these guys are skinny after all so i haven't tested to see if they fit on a skeletor figure or anything like that but I imagine they do, but if they don't, well then I guess those are also new. And then you also get the weapons. You get a lot of weapons, actually, in the glow-in-the-dark plastic as well as the skeletons themselves. And the skeletons are two different color palettes. You got one that's more on the Skeletor side of things, and then you got one that has some silver accents. So, you know, you get a lot here. I think you get enough to justify the price point, and hopefully... I just got a couple of flukes, and they're not all questionable with quality control, but if they are, let me know in the comments, because I'm very curious, uh, particularly with the axe, because a lot of the axes, to me, seem like that's just a thing, but uh, the two right arm thing, I'm curious about that also. And if anyone's got two lefts, because if you got two lefts, uh, hit me up, because I can fix that with a hair dryer in about five minutes. So, with all that being said, before we wrap this up there's one more thing we got to do first and of course i am talking about the glow in the dark feature what you think we were gonna do show i'm doing the spooky scary skeletons dance anyone remember that old school disney cartoon anyway i gotta tell you they don't glow this well in person un Unfortunately, not everyone can be the origin scare glow and glow like a champ, right? But for what it's worth, at the price point, I can't really complain, man. I still love these figures, and I'm very happy to have them nonetheless, regardless. Whatever other words you could throw in here that make me sound nice right now, because I really dogged on Lady Slither for almost being 50 bucks earlier. So, you know, hopefully this video makes up for it. But with all that being said... I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video and review, whatever you want to call it. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.